to hear his voice. To me, it's it's kind of an iconic voice. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a beautiful night for a ball game. And, and I think that Chuck is um, slowly but surely becoming a legend in, in that PA world. And I think for me, he has a very distinct voice, very clean, uh, a deep voice, somewhat soothing. And I think that's just his demeanor overall. And so for me, it's just that, that voice being clean and, and the taglines he had, that's what I remember. So for me, it's more about his personality, his demeanor, uh, his character, his everything that goes along with that that makes that voice even better. Back then, there was no walk-up songs. But if you did something good, he would play a, a song. And so the first time that I remember it was I doubled. And I got to second base and taking my batting gloves off and three don't all down just playing over the loudspeaker. And I go, this is kind of cool, man. You know, and so from that point forward, anytime I did something, I would listen for it. And he hits it the opposite way. Left field corner. Fair foul. It's a fair ball. And Rusty Greer can touch a ball. And the Rangers win this baseball game. And then as walk-up songs began to take place, which were very early days, you would hear it from time to time walking up. But then for me, it was more of, uh, he played it more when I did something swinging a bat, got their base, something like that.